See Lindelof videos. Multiply three binomials. Not the hardest thing in the world, but a good skill to have. Um, the one thing I would say to you is this. Take your time. When you get something like this, this is just really uh, monotonous, meticulous work. So you, you got to kind of slow down a little bit as you pursue this. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to pick two of these factors and start multiplying them. So first thing I'm going to do is this, I'm going to decide. We know that we know that 2 times 3 times 4 is 24. No matter what order I multiply these three numbers in, I'm going to get the answer 24. So it, my point of this to this is that it doesn't matter which two I choose to multiply first. I'm going to get the same answer, and it seems to shock a lot of people, but it's absolutely the truth. Uh, and I'll prove it to you later if you would like. But let's start with this. So I, I think just for, as a matter of simplicity, I'm going to choose this factor here, and I'm going to choose this factor here. So these are two that I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to take my x plus 1, and I'm going to multiply that times my x minus 5, and I'm going to hold this for later. Because we can't forget about this, but so I'm going to hold it for later. So now I'm just going to actually foil this thing out, and I get x times x is x squared x times 1 is 1x, negative 5 times x is negative 5x, negative 5 times positive 1 is negative 5. If you don't mind, to make my job even simpler, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify this now, right? So I'm going to go ahead and simplify. So there are no other x squared, so I'll leave the x squared here, but we have a we have positive 1x here, and we have negative 5x's there, so we can combine them for a total of negative 4x's, if you will, minus 5, right? And at, just as promised, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to take this piece right here, and I'm going to multiply this. If you don't mind, I'm going to put it on this side, because it looks better for me. <clears throat> so here's my intention now. My intention now is to multiply this. So here's what that looks like to me. To me, that looks like this. To me, that looks just like this. And this is how this is what my intention is. I'm going to take this x value here. I'm going to multiply it by everything in here systematically. So I'm going to do this times this. And then I'm going to come back to this x here. I'm going to multiply it times this fact, this term. And then I'm going to multiply it by this term. And then I'm going to go back to the other piece that I have. I'm going to go back to the positive 3. But one thing at a time, right? We talked about being methodical. So x times x squared is x cubed, isn't it? Then I said I was going to go x times negative 4x, which is negative 4x squared, right? And then x times negative 5 is negative 5x. So I did that. I completed that piece that I said I was going to do. Now what I'm going to do is this. Just to diagram it, I've completed everything I said I was going to do with this piece, I've done. Now I'm going to go to this piece. I'm going to multiply it by this. And then after I do that, I'm going to multiply this 3 by this piece. And then lastly, this 3 by this piece. So I'm trying to be as methodical as possible here. <clears throat> so I have positive 3 times x squared gives me positive 3x squared, doesn't it? Um, also, I have 3 times negative 4x, which is negative 12x, isn't it? And lastly, I have positive 3 times negative 5, which is negative 15, right? Now I'm going to gather like terms. I'm going to see what pieces do I have that are of the same size. The only x cubed, the only thing I have with x cubed is this one, so I'm going to say, okay, here, I'm going to use this x cubed. But here we have, look, just to take a look at it, we have x squared here, and we have x squared here. We have negative four of them here. We have three of them here for a total of negative one x squared, right? So I use that, and I use that. I'm just going to keep moving. I have negative 5x's here and negative 12 more x's here for a total of negative 17x's. So I use that in that. And then minus 15 is my final answer. I have heard people say, oh, Charlie, I don't need to cross stuff off. I can memorize it. Let me help you, if you don't mind. Uh, this is not a Lindelofism. This is an Einsteinism. Einstein said, why remember what's written down? And I, I feel assured that if Einstein was doing this math with us, that he because he didn't want to waste his mind on trivia. He'd be crossing stuff off as he did it. So don't get 
uh, too wrapped up in that thing that your teacher is saying, maybe, you know, hurry up, or this is mental math. Look, man, this math is super important. It's super, super important. So we need to spend our time doing it. I also want to remind you that when you're going to add terms together, they have to be the same. So here's a case of this is x, so that's good. But it has to be x squared. So I was looking not just for x's, but I was looking for x squared. And when I was adding my x's together, these are x to the first powers, aren't they? So they match. So you have to make sure that what you have matches. Lastly, great advice that I can give you is stay focused, stay alert, take your time. Math is important. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, please make them. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Appreciate it.